okay, it's time to just stop. Stop the partisan feuding. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead, a goner, deep sixth. President Trump gave the go-ahead and our mighty military blew a hole in the wall of the rat hole al-Baghdadi was hiding in. And the globe's most prolific, bloodthirsty, murdering terrorist was reduced to bits and pieces of flesh. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. It should be a cause for celebration, right? Wrong. Apparently, Trump derangement syndrome is so prevalent, politicians to pundits to media trolls couldn't give the president credit. This man can't catch a break. There's a long trail ahead of him actually finally releasing details, explicit details, some of which sort of echoed, and frankly, the crudeness you would often expect to hear maybe from ISIS about the whimpering, uh, screaming Baghdadi pinned down in a, a sealed tunnel, killing himself and his three children. Um, it, was, it was sort of disturbing to hear to some degree. Moments after the announcement of al-Baghdadi's demise, the TV screen was filled with sad faces. At one network, even a well-respected journalist couldn't help but go there. And by there, I mean sympathizing with a bloodthirsty terrorist. I wonder if there's any part of you that's at all concerned, because now there is, of course, a question about what is ISIS going to do in response to this move, in response to perhaps the president's, president's rhetoric. Uh, does that concern you at all uh, in terms of galvanizing or motivating ISIS terrorists? You know, it's sad they dislike this president so much they can't even acknowledge a massive kill that will likely save the lives of countless, maybe thousands, maybe more innocent people around the world, not just America. Remember the nonpartisan celebration we all enjoyed when President Obama took down Osama bin Laden? From Times Square to Ground Zero to the White House, the familiar chant of USA, USA resonated as citizens learned that Osama bin Laden was dead. The announcement sparked immediate jubilation. Let's afford this president the same credit, the same respect for taking down the leader of ISIS, the most ruthless and deadly gang of criminals on the face of the earth. President Trump, the U.S. military, America, we cut the head off the snake. May its body die a slow and painful death in the stole cold annals of hell so that the next iteration of ISIS, of Al-Qaeda, of the Taliban, or of terror thinks twice about messing with the USA. These scoundrels have to know we support our commander in chief because if you mess with the US, it will not end well for you.